Today I'd like to start by uh, going back to the basics of defining what our deen is. And so this, our deen of Islam, the deen known as Islam is defined in a very famous hadith known as the Hadith Jibreel. And this hadith is the second hadith in the collection uh, of Imam Nawawi's Abba'in. That he, he thought that these 40 hadith are the most important hadith to the, uh, to the Muslim, for the everyday Muslim. And so this hadith starts, it's narrated from Umar radiallahu anhu. An Umar radiallahu anhu qal, Baynama nahnu jilusun inda Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam adhati yawmin, itala'a alayna rajulun, shadidu bayad al-thiyami, shadidu sawadi al-sha'ab. So it starts like this, that when one day we were sitting with the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and this hadith took place about six months before the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam left this world, one day we were sitting with the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and a man came to us. And he had extremely dark black hair and extremely white clothes. And then Umar radiallahu anhu continues to say, وَلَا يَعْرِفُهُ مِنَّا أَحَدٌ None of us knew him. So you need to think about this. It's in the middle of the desert. Um, and this man has completely clean black hair, completely clean white clothes. And they've never seen him, this man in Medina before. And he shows up. And these people are wondering, who is this man? We've never seen him before. Who is he? You know, we, we don't see any traces of uh, travel on him. So they're wondering, who is this man? And then he sat with the Prophet and he put his knees against the knees of the Prophet and he put his palms on the thighs of the Prophet He said, Oh Muhammad Islam. Tell me about Al-Islam. Tell me about submission. What is submission? So the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, قَالْ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ الْإِسْلَامُ أَنْ تَشْهَدَ أَنْ تَشْهَدَ أَنْ لَا إِلَهِ مِنَ اللَّهِ وَأَنَّ مُحَمَدَ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ First, Islam is to testify that there is only one God and that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is his messenger. وَتُقِيمَ الصَّلَاةِ وَتُؤْتِيَ الزَّكَاةِ And then to establish the prayer and then to establish zakah, to give zakah, وَتَسُومَ رَمَضَان To fast the month of Ramadan. وَتَحُجَّ الْبَيْتَ إِنِي سَطَاعَةَ إِلَيْهِ سَبِيلًا And then to, and then to, fa- uh, to make hajj, uh, make pilgrimage to Mecca once in your life if you have the ability to. So what he listed were the five pillars of Islam. These are the five outward pillars of Islam. So this is how the deen is being defined. That the first part is submission, the outward. What is, what's known as fiqh, right? The outward, uh, the outward aspects of our deen. So what he's defining here is to know uh, what, what's intended here is for us to know these five pillars and how to act on these five pillars. And a lot of times we, we, we think we know these things, but we actually don't. So it's important for us to, to realize that this is a fard ayn. It's a fard on everyone to know, first of all, the shahada, and what are the implications of the, shah, of the shahada, and then know how to pray the salah, what is the rulings of, of the salah, what's sunnah in the salah, what's fard in the salah, what breaks your salah, what doesn't break your salah, it's far on us to know these things. And then you can't make salah if you don't know, if you're not, you can't pray if you're not pure, legally pure. So you need to know the, the rules of legal purity. What makes, uh, what makes your wudu, your Muslim, what makes it valid, what makes it invalid, right? What, are the, what, are, what breaks these things? We need to know the rules of these things. And then we need to know the rules of zakah. He tells us, the, the, the Prophet says in, in this hadith to give zakah. And so zakah, you need to know the rules of how do you give it, who do you give it to, who's, who can take zakah, who can't, what do you give zakah on. So we need to know the basic fit rulings on these, right? Remember that no one's asking us to become a faqih, someone who has a vast understanding of, of fit, but people are, well, we, are, we are being asked to know the basics of fit, the basics so we can complete our daily actions. With the summa Ramadan, to be able to fast Ramadan and to know how to fast on Ramadan and what what makes our fasts valid and invalid? What's recommended? How do we perfect our fast? That's, we need to know the rulings of that. And then to hajj and bayta in isafa'ata ilayhi in sabina. To know, before you go to hajj, to know the rulings of hajj. What, uh, what, um, what makes your hajj valid? What makes it invalid? So these are the, these are the things we need to know. And then whatever other, uh, aspects 
a fifth applies to our lives, such as like if you're a businessman, you, you should know the fifth rulings of business so you're not breaking the laws of business, and we should follow a system of fifth, right? Because this is submission, this is the outward submission. So the Prophet said this to Jibreel and Jibreel said, Qana sadaqt. You've told it, you've told the truth. And so then they said, the Umar said, uh, We were shocked at that. First of all, he asked the Prophet and then he says, You're correct when he gets the answer. So they let it go and they keep, they, they keeps going. So then Jabeen says, Tell me about Iman, belief. What is faith? What, what, is, what, what do we have to believe? And the Prophet says, to believe in Allah and what and what we need to know who we worship, know the know, know the nature of Allah, you know, to to be able to remove the doubts of 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 the one the, the remove the doubts that come into our minds about the one that we worship, and then believe in the angels because the angels bring the message from Allah, and that message is the kutub. We need to know the nature of the kutub. And it's brought to the prophets, alayhi salam, and so to the messengers. And so we need to know the nature of our messengers. That our messengers, we need to know that there are certain things that are, that are possible for a messenger, some things that are impossible. So it's impossible for a messenger to lie. It's impossible for a messenger not to finish what they are, not to finish the message that they've been given. They have to, they have to convey it to the people. So we should know this, and this is called basic, this is called aqidah. Uh, aqidah is dogma. It's what you're supposed to believe, but Iman is to believe in that Aqidah and to be firm in your belief in it. So now we've covered the outward, which is known as fiqh, the second is Aqidah, we should know these two things. And then, after the Prophet ﷺ listed this, uh, in the last one he says, believe in the decree of Allah, with the good and the bad of it. And then he says, قَالَ sadaf that you've told the truth. Jabeel ﷺ says that again. And then he says, ihsan. Tell me about perfection, tell me about beauty, tell me about purity. What is ihsan? And so the Prophet ﷺ says, To worship Allah as if you can see Him, as if He's that close. But if you can't see Him, which we can't see Allah in this dunya, then know that He sees you in all your states. That Allah looks at you and sees you in all your states. And so this is. This is known classically as tazkiyatun nafs, purification of the heart. To be perfected inside, So, because Allah is the only one that can see inside of you. And so it's, it's far on us to know what are the, uh, the diseases of the heart, because there's, there's spiritual diseases of the heart that we have. It's, it's far on us to know what these diseases are, whether we have them or not, and how to get rid of them. For example, there's uh, hatred, jealousy, Arrogance, ostentatious, uh, ostentation. These are the, the basics uh, of, of the disease of the heart that we need to get rid of. Uh, and so, so now we've covered these three things. Is there's the the outward al Islam submission, which is fit, the the what what you believe, which is iman, and you need to believe in the aqidah. You don't just you don't just uh, simply say that there is this thing that we believe, but you don't actually believe in it. And when you truly believe in it, you see yourself become a muhsin, a person who practices the ihsan, who practices perfection, beauty, a person who allows themselves to allows themselves to be carried in a manner in which they always recognize that Allah is watching them with perfection, whether anyone else can see or whether anyone else can. And that doesn't mean that someone's not watching. That doesn't just mean when somebody's watching you, you don't do good, uh, that you do good, but even when somebody's not watching you and that you allow your heart, which no one can see except Allah and yourself, you allow that to do good as well. And then the final aspect of our deen, because we have the last ummah, uh, and this we were given the last Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. He says, Jibreel alayhi salam says, "Qala thakhbini ani saa." Tell me about the last hour. And the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam says, "Qala man nasulu aalam biha min al-sa'il." The one being asked doesn't know any more any more than the one who's asking. So then Jibreel alayhi salam says, "Qala thakhbini qala thakhbini ani ma rafiha." Tell me about its signs. And the Prophet Sallallahu says, قَالَ أَنْ تَلِذَ الْأَمَّةَ that the, that the slave girl will give birth to her mistress. And there's a lot of uh, discussion about what that means. But the next one is very obvious. That the 
that you see the Bedouin desert, uh, the desert uh, dwellers, the ones with no shoes, the naked destitute, they're competing and building tall buildings. So Prophet Sam gave us some signs of the end of times. So we should know these four things. And why I'm saying these four things? Because as we continue, we see that this, the Prophet Sam defines this as the entirety of the deen. So then Umar says, uh, he left and we stayed for a while. And the Prophet ﷺ said, قَالَ يَا عُمَرْ أَتَدْرِي مَنِ السَّائِلِ Do you know who the one asking was? And then Umar ﷺ says, قُلْتُ اللَّهُ رَسُولَهُ أَعْلَمْ Allah is messenger or better. As in you tell me. So the Prophet ﷺ says, قَالَ فَإِنَّكُمْ جِبْرِينُ أَتَاكُمْ يُعَلِمُكُمْ دِينَكُمْ And this is narrated in, uh, in Sahih Muslim. So then he says that, uh, that that was Jibreel, he came to give you your deen. And your deen were these four things. The outward, what you believe, and the inward. And if you don't have, and then the signs of the uh, the signs of the last day. If you don't have these four things, you're missing an aspect of your deen. So it's important for us to look back and, and check with ourselves, really, do we know these four things? Can, if we needed to teach someone, can, could we do it? So inshallah, let's make it, let's make it uh, our mission to make sure that we know some of these four things, just the basics. أقول قولي هذا واستغفر الله لي ولكم لسائر المسلمين واستغفروا إنه هو الغفور الرحيم بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن والاه So inshallah if you relate basically what we discussed is what's necessary for us to know about our deen We need to know the, the, the rulings, of, uh, rulings of carrying our outward daily actions such as prayer, fasting uh, if you're a businessman, how, how to carry out your business, um, you know, how to, um, what are the rulings on these things, just the basics. Nobody's asking us to become scholars or none of that, we're only being asked to know the basics. And then to know what to believe in and then actually believe in it. And then to know what the diseases of our heart are, diseases of our heart are and how to remove them from ourselves. And then to know some of the signs of the last day because we are the last ummah, we've been given the, the last prophet وسلم, and we should recognize that the last day is that we are in the, last, the end of times. Uh, the end of time started when the Prophet set up. The, one of the first major signs is the coming of the Prophet So it's been 1,400 years since that's happened. We're really coming to. We're going to be coming to the end of the end of it soon. You know, Allah does Only Allah knows. We don't know when it's going to happen. So let's not uh, let's not let this these four things uh, uh, leave us. You know, we should be, we should recognize the importance of these four things and recognize that uh, that it's our responsibility to, responsibility to learn them. Allah says in the Quran. Ya ayyuhal ladheena aamanu in tansuru Allahi yasukum wa yuthabbit aqdamakum or you believe if uh, if you help Allah as in if you help the deen of Allah Allah will help you and make make you firm make your feet firm but the opposite is also true that if we bring humiliation to the deen of Allah then he is going to humiliate us and and we won't be firm and we'll be put in the lowest the lowest of states so inshallah let's not allow ourselves uh, to uh, to uh, to fall to the, the worries of the dunya and say that we don't have time to learn these basics and let's recognize that uh, these basics are uh, firm on us inshallah so let's, let's bring victory to the deen of Allah because that's how we bring victory, victory to the deen of Allah that we appreciate what, what, what we've been given and uh, we recognize that, that whatever, uh, whatever we know in this world won't benefit us unless we know these four things because Allah is not going to ask you about your, uh, your PhD and this or that He's going to ask you about these basics, these basics so inshallah, let's not allow the, the, the worries of this world to, to, to take that away from us. To, to take that away from us. Allahumma la taj'ali dunya at rahamina wa la mablaga ilmina. Wa la mablaga ilmina wa la mablaga ilmina. Allahumma anta salam wa minka salam. Tabarata ya dhan jalali wa ikram hayyina wa alqina dar salam. Allahumma ahdina fi man hadayt wa aafina fi man aafayt. Wa tawallana fi man tawallayt. Wa barikna fi ma aatayt. Wa kina wasrif anna shara ma qadayt. Fa inna ka taqdi wa la yaqda alayt. Inna hu la yadhinu ma walayt wa la ya'iz man aatayt. Tabarata rabbana wa ta'alayt. And الحمد على ما قضيت نستغفرك اللهم من جميع ذنوب الخطايا ونتوب إليك. And also before we close, recognize that that Allah and His and His angels send salutations and the peace uh, send send their uh, salutations and the blessings of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So we we also have to do that. إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما. اللهم صل على سيدنا مولانا محمد وبارك وسلم صل عليه. سبحان ربي رب العزة عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين عباد الله رحمكم الله إن الله يأمر بالعدل والإحسان وإيتاء ذي القربى وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبغي يعذكم لعلكم تذكرون اذكر الله يذكركم وادعوه يستجب لكم ولذكر الله أكبر والله يعلم ما تسرعون وأقل الصلاة